it's good. Mind you, a lot of it is due to the bloody chicken. Yeah, the chicken doesn't get, we often say that, the chicken doesn't, doesn't get, get any credit. <laughs> I'm Jacob, and this is Daniel. We're more than friends. We have a food truck together. And today, we're travelling across Victoria, ultimately meeting and feeding Peter Russell Clark. TV legend Peter Russell Clark. Look, I'm more of a Huey guy myself, but <laughs> we're still excited to meet him. You want to clap? clap? Makes me feel better. Garden is, is home to, I think, Australia's best pie, definitely Victoria's best pie. People come here for the pie. But pies, look, they're bought over with the English. It's very old Australian. It's not new gen or next gen. Melbourne's an apostrophe? I think it's time to move on from the pie. And some people would say we're arrogant. We're here asking where's the best hummus. Haven't even looked, just brought our own. But that's for the you people to decide. You've got to start somewhere, what do, you know? <laughs> that's for the people to decide, is it, you know, is it the best? Hummus! We've got Melbourne's best hummus and we're asking you, is it Melbourne's best hummus? Hummus! Are you from Kyneton? No. No. <laughs> Where are you Melbourne. guys? From Melbourne? We're from Melbourne too. So what's the verdict? Have you had the hummus better than that? Well, I don't know if I've had better, but it's very good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll take it. That's, that's what I need. Okay. That's something. If someone gives feedback to Daniel, at the time he first insults them, but then he does to his credit take go away and take it on board. Hummus! I get annoyed at them, I don't say insult them, I just think they're wrong. Try Melbourne's best hummus! Hummus! Still give you some to taste, don't you? Oh good, thank you very much. Better than the supermarket stuff? It needs a bit more garlic, right? More garlic? Yep. I just want to make something clear. There are like 30 cloves of garlic in that hummus. <laughs> like, I think if I put more in, it would people would walk away. But it's okay. I take it on board. Have you had hummus that's better? I'm hearing. Well, she makes her own. Oh, you make your own? Yeah, you work that one out fast. <laughs> <laughs> People love to criticise if they make it themselves. Yeah. But I always say it takes a bigger person to say... Like it's easier to be like, oh you should add paprika. It's a lot harder to say, well, I see that you've added... The lady you with know? her was just like, won't be as good as hers before she even tried before it. Before she even tried it. Well, just not interested. That lady owned your restaurant. She was saying to me, the one who tasted your hummus actually did own a restaurant. <laughs> Okay. Look, yeah. lots of people own a, lots of people Look, own restaurants. There's a lot of bad restaurants yeah, out there. Exactly. <laughs> like I own a food truck, that doesn't mean I can criticize someone's hummus. <laughs> in my opinion. That's for the people to decide. Okay, let's get back to it. Hummus. You can be honest. I I, I can not wear the best it. One, but that what we're calling it, Daniel <laughs> going off or not. One of the best ones. One of the best. One of the best. One of the best. One of the best. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Would anyone here say that it's Melbourne's best hummus? We're from Melbourne. I've been right. to Melbourne, like on Sydney Road and... Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, I would go for this one, yeah. That's something, that's something. There you go, that's something. <laughs> that's something, yeah. So, would you say there's the right amount of garlic in there? Yes. Okay. Yes, I think yeah. so. It's yes, not too so. strong. Yeah. The right amount of garlic. That was the response. Not, this is a good amount, the right amount. Why? Because garlic is an overpowering thing. Yeah. That lady obviously likes garlic too much. Not only that, if you want to kiss somebody the same day, oh. you've got to be careful what you're eating. My you don't mom, want too yeah. much garlic. My mum wouldn't eat garlic if, uh, wouldn't eat hummus if there was more garlic than that. Jacob's mum. She wouldn't eat it. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's good hummus. I like the eyes. It is pretty good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Would you say it's the best hummus you've ever had in Australia? In the world. In the world. The best. Hummus. In the world. And, and right amount of garlic? I've never been living on that, so... <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> but is this like your, um, what do you call it, your, what's the Lebanese grandma called? Is it like, like grandma or like a nonno? Oh, well, we're not Lebanese, I don't okay. know. <laughs> <laughs> I just really yeah. like talking from yeah. Lebanon. No, I'm glad I jumped out of the car. If I can make one thing clear, there's plenty of garlic in there. <laughs> the, what I'm saying, the right amount. The right some, amount. Some people might say the right amount of garlic. The right amount of garlic. <laughs> We're 
We're here with Andrew from the Burke and Wills Winery. Andrew, I've got to say, I mean this with great respect, I really don't know anything about wine. So I'm very curious to learn. Um, I don't know, don't know much about wine either, actually. Um, I just enjoy it, which is why I'm here. Mm -hmm. Now, because we're in Heathcote, um, it's really all about red wines. Um, but because we're at the southern end of Heathcote, we can still produce um, some really good aromatic whites. Uh -huh. And my absolute favourite is, is Gewürztraminer. And it's very hard to sell because most people can't pronounce <laughs> the name. Uh, but the grape variety is actually Tramina or Tramina and, and Gewürz is a German word that means spicy. So it's <laughs> spicy Tramina. It has a reputation in Australia as a sweet wine, which is entirely wrong. It doesn't need to be, it doesn't have to be. Just that there are quite a few sweet ones out there. So have a little sip of that and when you've had enough, if you don't want to swallow, you can spit it out and you can tip it on the ground. But I can swallow if I like? I think you can, yes. Okay, yes, let's do yes, it. Yes. Okay, I know I'll swirl it, I'll sniff it. Yeah. Sounds good? Okay, I'm into that. Sacrilege, but I'm now yeah, going to suggest you pour that onto the ground. Pour it onto the ground. <laughs> Heathcote is all about Shiraz. Now I've got lots of Shirazes, but I'm, I'm going to give you this one first of all because it's the most typical Heathcote Shiraz. Mm -hmm. It's actually not grown here, it's grown 10 kilometres north of here um, at Reedsdale. Mm -hmm. And this is a very typical Heathcote Shiraz. Shiraz is the most popular red wine in Australia. Okay. Heathcote is regarded as the best region in Victoria uh, for Shiraz, if, if not mm -hmm. for the whole of Australia. And we actually won a trophy four years ago um, we won the Premier's Trophy for the best Victorian wine. Okay. Um, so it's pretty nice that a tiny winery like this makes the best wine in, in Victoria. So I would say, Andrew, we've been going around saying that we have the best hummus in Melbourne. <laughs> but we've, we've just decided that. So you actually have an award backing you up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. And um, it hasn't done me any good at all, but I have <laughs> Yeah? <it. laughs> <In the industry. laughs> okay. Because as you might know, um, getting an award is one thing, but actually doing something worthwhile with it is totally another. Yeah, yeah. So have a go at this very typical Heathcote Shiraz. Look, maybe I've been drinking more alcohol lately since we got the track, but this is good. <laughs> These are good wines. Yeah. I'm not just, I'm actually not just saying that. I would not lie to you, Andrew. Okay. I'm into that. Imagine a nice big fat rump steak with that probably, can you? And a nice big fat rump steak with that rump steak with that probably, can you? Look, I can't, I can't afford big rump steaks yet, <laughs> but when I can, I'll have them with this. All so right. a Shiraz from well, Heathcote. Yeah, yeah, a Shiraz from Heathcote, that's all you need to remember. Mm -hmm. So we've got one more to go. This is my favorite. Um, yep, pour that on the ground, lucky ground. This one I call the aristocrat. It's, it's a Bordeaux blend. Bordeaux is where the great Cabernets come from in France. Uh, also known as Claret. The English wine merchants used to call it Claret. Uh -huh. The great Bordeaux wines tend to be blends. Okay. Uh, this is my favourite wine at the moment. Okay, this is an aristocrat. Now you mustn't say that. Yeah. Every, everybody else does, don't worry, but I'm English. Mm -hmm. And what you just said is the American pronunciation. Uh -huh. Um, which is aristocrat. Uh -huh. It's also the Australian pronunciation. But the radish should be aristocrat. Aristocrat. Yeah. This is the aristocrat. Well done. <laughs> okay. This is. I haven't tasted the wine like this before. Well. Is that good or bad? <laughs> it's good. Can I have a go? It's got a. It's got like a more dulcet aftertaste. It can be quite soft, yeah, uh -huh. particularly with all those other varieties. Um, but the, the great thing about the Cabernet family is that the fruit characters have, have, have come to the fore. Andrew, I was not expecting to enjoy the wines this much. And I'm not just saying that, I really did enjoy them. Okay, I'm into that. Well, uh, there'll be a lot more with the food you're cooking for us. <laughs> okay, good plan. Let's do it. So we got a few grain salads that are with, you know, summer's coming to an end, so we wanted to just highlight the summer's produce. And one's a tomato salad. Tomatoes are only really worth eating during uh, summer. And then we've got two of our hummus bowls, because, look, we're trying to get as many people as possible to try our hummus, because really is Melbourne's best. So we've made a, uh, a beetroot and walnut hummus bowl. 
and a carrot, a, a sort of a Moroccan carrot one with some honey and cumin on the carrot and I then roasted those to perfection. Possibly the main event, we've got some yogurt marinated chickens, which we've marinated, then cooked off, off in the oven on a really low temperature, and then we're just gonna finish them off on the barbecue, get a nice char, a smoky flavor. So that's in our, that's in our blood, is this, in our lungs for sure, is this charcoal barbecue. Oh yeah, there's, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm dying early. Okay, we're here today with two great chefs. We have Peter Russell Clark. And we have Mr. No himself. Mr. No Daniel, would you like to tell us what you've made for Peter? So today, so Peter's an Australian TV icon. We didn't know who he was because we're too young. We grew up with Huey, but we've been told... He's the same age as me, actually. But you were on TV in the 80s. We were born in the 90s. So we are... Uh, What's that? This is our, our, our homemade hummus. What's hummus made of? Chickpeas and tahini paste, sesame seed paste, um, then garlic. We gave some to a lady in Kaiden today, told me there's not enough garlic. <laughs> so we might have to get you to judge that. Mm -hmm. um, there's harissa there, which is, I think, a Tunisian chili paste. Yes, it, you're from South Africa. I am from South Africa. Uh, well, Harissa, you said, that's from South Africa also. <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, here we go. Um, and it's got some Moroccan roast carrots on it, um, and then some toasted almonds. Why do you call uh, your food the new generation food? So food are truck... You, are you trying to pretend the, the South Africans haven't been eating food <laughs> for some time. There's a, there's a few reasons why. So Jacob and I, our parents aren't Australian, so that makes us the next generation of Australians because it's a land of, of immigrants. Our aim is to serve restaurant quality food out of the food truck um, and something with fresh vegetables, proper flavour. When you say proper flavour, what's that mean? I get not uh, stuff that's not out of the freezer, you know, we use a lot of fresh herbs. What's wrong with fried food? Well, there's nothing wrong. It's I, delicious. I don't eat fried food, by the way. Why don't you eat fried food, uh, Peter? Because once you reheat oil, uh, often it burns the food uh, and you get little black spots of burnt food in the oil and that's carcinogenic. Yeah. And it also affects your scrotum. It makes it longer. Do you want a shorter scrotum? Yes. Yeah. We've been going around different places. Up. Are you a comedian? Will make me laugh. <laughs> um, the thing about you know, it's actually quite rude to say that to a comedian. Is it? Yeah. Do you think you've you've done comedy too? Did people yes. just ask you that? No. <laughs> uh, they didn't ask me that because they could see on you nothing about humour. Can I ask Peter on texture? We've been asking. Are you trying oh, to yeah. are you trying to copy Groucho Marx with the moustache? Yes. <laughs> on texture, we've been asking people: Is our hummus the best hummus in Melbourne? The hummus Daniel makes, and is very proud of the texture. Would you? How would you feel about trying some hummus and giving your um, hard hitting verdict? Yeah, be, I, I I don't I don't worry about you not being honest. Good hummus. <laughs> Good hummus. That doesn't need more garlic, or you're happy with? <laughs> no, it's got too much garlic. Too, too much, much garlic. garlic. The right amount of garlic. We've been hearing today it's got not enough, too much, which makes it just right in my books. If anything, too smooth. Too smooth. I go for the smoothness. Yes, uh, a lot of young boys go for the smoothness. Um, I don't even know what that means, but it sounds, it sounds, you know, like something. Chickpeas <laughs> are very good for you, yeah, that's but true. they have very little taste, uh -huh. uh, but they're good for all sorts of ailments. Mm -hmm. One of them is diarrhea. Diarrhea. That's a, well, that's a th people don't talk about bowel movements enough with food, but it's very important. Like, we've got to watch what we, we put in. You put in 
and it comes out. Yeah, and you know. I'm surprised you said mm-hmm. that it's offensive to say make me laugh. Do you say that when they give you the check or not? <laughs> so that one's a freaker salad, which is a smoked green wheat. With oh, I've not tried then. Oh, so I'll give you some. Um, with end of season tomatoes and herbs and some sunflower seeds. The drumsticks okay, Peter? Yes. I'll just... yeah, it's like good. The sh- yeah? Mm. yeah? Thank you. It's good. Mind you, a lot of it is due to the bloody chicken. Yeah, the chicken doesn't get, we often say that, the chicken doesn't, doesn't get, get any credit. credit. It's getting no credit. Yeah, the chicken, Nobody's talking about the chicken. It's the most delicious animal. Thank you. You should try also some of the, the breast. Yeah. Um, if, if you, it's, you know, obviously different, slightly different texture. I'm a married man. A married man. It doesn't mean you can't, uh, can't look once in a while. <laughs> I believe your girlfriend's here. <laughs> Peter Russell Clark, it has been a pleasure to have you here to get your honest opinion. Um, we hope you enjoy the food. We hope that you continue to enjoy the food. It's been well, great having you. Uh, let me say that I know you will succeed because you understand the difference between oily food and non oily food. Thank you, Peter. I'm a married man. (laughs) (laughs) So you've said. (laughs) 